Hello, this is Mr. Mobility once again. One of the most frustrating things about smartphones and mobile phones in general can be how long it takes to charge them, especially when your battery is running low. I mean, imagine that you're on a busy day and you're currently at 20 or 15% battery, or even maybe at five, and you need to charge your phone. You do not want to need, have to keep it plugged for an hour, two hours, three hours before you get a full charge. As a matter of fact, in some situations, you just want to get it to 50 so you can dash out, hit the road and, and do something else. So I'm going to share with you how you can make your phone charge faster. Tip number one, check for the charging technology built into your phone. Some phones have what we call fast charge, right? And there is a wide range of fast charging technologies. Here's how it works. For example, regular phones charge at 5 watts, watts, W-A-W-T-S. If you did physics in secondary school, you should remember what that is, right? So your, your regular phones all charge at 5 watts. And that, you can plug your phone into any socket, into a laptop with USB port, and it will charge at 5 watts. We also have phones that have 10 watts charging. Now, 10 watts charging doesn't double the speed at which your phone charges. Unfortunately, I wish it did. I mean, it just make life easy for many of us. But it is a little bit faster than normal 5 watt charging. Then you also have 15 watt fast charge, 18 watt fast charge, 20 watts fast charge, 25 watts, there's 30, there's 33, there's 45, there's 60, there's 80, 85, there's 90, there's 120. And newer technology keeps bringing to us uh, faster charging. So the first thing to do is to check for the rating, the power rating of your smartphone. If it has 10 watts charging, for example, you need to make sure you have a 10 watts charger and use that charger with it. Your phone will charge faster that way. If your phone is specified to have 25 watts fast charging, make sure you have a 25 watt fast charger. Your phone will charge faster that way. For example, I have here a, a 45 watt fast charger and I have, I'm able to use it with a number of phones. Um, so it charges much faster, much, much faster. If my phone is at 50% and I were to charge, I were to plug it in with, with this charger, in less than 30 minutes, I have a full battery. Much less than 30 minutes, okay? I also have this guy here. It's an 18 watt fast charger. I use it for a different phone. And then I have this guy here. It's a 10 watt charger. Um, and this, of course, it, it came with another phone. So here's the thing. If your phone supports 45 watt charging, you can use a 10 watt charger with it, but it will only charge at 10 watt speed. So you're not getting the full capability uh, the full charging speed, full charging capability that your phone has. If your phone is capable of 120 watt fast charger and you use an 18 watt fast charger with it, you will get only 18 watt, 18 watt charging speed. So the rule is this, your phone's rating, power rating, and the charger rating have to match. Where they do not match, the phone charges at the speed of the lower rating. If it's the charger that is rated lower, your phone will charge at that speed. If it's your phone that is rated lower, it will charge at its own lower rating speed. Whichever is lower is what's going to run with your phone, whether it's the charger or it's the phone. Let me repeat that. 
your charger has a power rating 5 watts 10 18 20 25 30 33 all the way up to whatever the current rating the current fastest rating is your phone also has a rating 5 watts 10 watts 15 18 25 45 60 90 to whatever is the latest if you are watching this video in 2090 we might have 18,000 <laughs> watts fast charging, whatever. But whenever you pair any smartphone with any charger, it doesn't matter what smartphone and what charger. You pair a smartphone with a charger. That phone is going to charge only as fast as which of the ratings is lower. That's the rule. If this phone supports 45 watt charging, and this charger can only do 25, if I use them together, this phone will charge at only 25 watt speed. If this phone supports only 45, and I get a 120 watt charger, and I use it with the phone, the phone will only charge at the 45 that it is rated at because that is a lower power rating. I hope you get it. So, the first thing you should do if you want to charge your phone faster is check for its power rating and check uh, for the power rating of your available charger. If the phone is rated above 5 watts, look for a charger that matches its rating. Why am I saying look for a charger? Somebody's going to ask. Don't manufacturers include a, a charger in, in their boxes? Well, now not all manufacturers do. In fact, the vast majority of manufacturers are beginning to leave the charger out of the box. You have to go hunt for a charger for yourself. So you need to make sure that your phone's power rating and the charger's rating match. That's the first step and then make sure you use that charger with your phone. Regardless of the power rating of your phone and of the charger, one other way to make your phone charge faster, dear friend, is to put the phone down and turn the screen off. Just put the phone down. Why? The screen of your phone is the greatest power guzzler. That's what consumes electricity the most in your phone, the screen. You have screens with high refresh rate, high resolution, supporting HDR, supporting every technology on the planet because we want, you know, better screens, you know, we want to, to watch uh, the best videos, get, get the best quality, blah, 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 blah. What this means is that the phone screen is the biggest consumer of power. So, if you want your phone to charge faster, dear friend, turn the screen off, put the phone down, and let it charge. It will charge faster. For as long as you have the phone in your hand, and you're scrolling through social media, and you're sending a tweet, and you're sending an email or responding to a message, as long as that screen is on, it's draining some power and the phone will not charge as fast as it should. Simple, you know, deduction. Also, you can turn off data while you're charging your phone. Because maintaining an always on internet connection, whether it's via the mobile network or via Wi-Fi, is also a heavy drain on the battery of the phone. So if you want your phone to charge faster, you are really in a hurry and you need for your phone to charge faster. Number one, if possible, use it with a charger that matches its power rating. Two, number two, turn off internet. Number three, turn off the screen, put the phone down and do something else for the next 15, 20 minutes so that your phone can charge quickly and then you can dash out. If you follow these three tips, you will be able to get your phone to charge faster almost under any circumstances. There are other tips, but they are related. For example, if your phone is warm, right? If it's warm or heating up, it means it's doing a lot. 
it will charge slower because there's a lot of power being dissipated when your phone is warm or hot. What's the solution to that? Put it down, which I have already, <laughs> I have already told you. Just put the phone down. Let it cool down. Let the screen turn off. If possible, turn off data. If possible, turn off everything turnable off. If possible, just put it into airplane mode or power it off and plug it in and let it charge. Why? It stops things from running in the background. It stops it from heating up. It stops it, you know, the screen from using up battery power. So generally, if you follow those three tips, your phone will charge fast. Thank you for watching this video. Please share it with your connections. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to follow my channel. Turn on your notifications. I look forward to bringing you more tips from time to time.